Okay, so um, I, I was asked this question when doing spiritual practice, at what point do we have control? At what point do we have control? Well, if you're doing spiritual practice, well, you know, it, it's the idea that the thinking ego mind, which tends to label everything, like, um, is in control. You know, this thing that keeps thinking and talking and rabbiting in the background or in the foreground, as you may say, uh, is in control. And, um, or is it in control? Well, I would say that the, the whole thing with, um, at what point do I get, well, you see, it, I mean, who would be in control if the if the thoughts disappeared? I mean, what else is it that would be would, would take ownership that I'm in control, or is the idea that I'm in control and I'm choosing everything a thought? So if that disappeared, so that the I mean, the idea that there is an individuated me, uh, well, of course you could say it's the identification with the body. But I'd say more on a prime level, the identification with thoughts, those passing stream of thoughts. Um, if one identifies that that is me and that that thing is in control and that thing is operating everything, if that thing disappeared through spiritual practice until there was silence or presence, then who would there be to say I'm in control or I'm not in control? Would there be anything that could make such a claim? And the thing, and and the idea that the thoughts were ever in control, can the thoughts be the thing that controls everything? Do the thoughts have the power to control life and control the body, and uh, control thing, or is that? But you know, I don't, you don't need to ask that question because that engages the thinking, so it's not really that useful a question. So if you didn't have any thoughts, if the thoughts disappeared. Would there be a question like, am I in control or am I not in control? Could that even exist uh, when the thoughts? So um, you'll be able to tell from your own experience when you've been in the thoughtless now or the timeless now, and when the thoughts don't exist, can such a question as who's in control or who's controlling even exist in such a place? And if the thoughts aren't there to say I'm in control or not in control, then what is in control? And what is the thing that would even ask such a question? Am I in control or even not in control? Or uh, am I the thing that's controlling everything? So I think just that inquiry into can there be a controller when thoughts exist? And if thoughts don't exist, then what is in control? Can it be the you that you habitually identify as yourself or your limited self? Or the, the self that is identified with thoughts and body? Can that thing be in control if there's no identification with thoughts and body. And if there's no identification with thoughts and body, then can anything take ownership for being in control? Anything in separation can, you know, is there a thing which is independent from everything which can take ownership of being in control? So I think that's my, my way of trying to answer that through looking through experience um, and also um, indicating who would ask such a question, am I in control or not in control? Is that not something of identification with thoughts? And if the thoughts weren't identified with, could anything take ask such a question? Okay, so I'll stop.